It's not finding it. It's open. Oh, let's see. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? I, I see it. Do the rest of you guys see it? Yes, we see it. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll be right back. I have to run. I have to run and help somebody with something real quick, but can carry on. Oh my God. I couldn't unmute myself there for a second, but now I figured out how to do that. Okay. okay so are you, are you ready for me to go? Heather? I'm ready. Okay. I had the same problem. I couldn't unmute myself either. <laughs> well, yeah, I need to mute everybody. I think. But, okay. For some reason, I can't see everybody and see my screen. So something weird is going on. All right, you guys yeah. back in the presentation? Yeah. So do you want to go to the next page? But don't you guys love this page? Yes, I do love this okay, page. We're going to sizzle, we're going to spark, we're going to ignite our businesses. <laughs> okay, guys. So the goal for tonight, which many of you guys have already looked through this, is really just to hopefully convey the inspiration to all of you guys that um, Heather and Kelly and Kim and I got at convention. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more at the end about convention for next year, but I can't even begin to tell you how important it is to take advantage anytime you can of a corporate event, whether that's convention, whether that's going to a local corporate event or even a local team event. I just think when you're around other consultants and you hear um, what this company has to offer, you cannot help but be like over the moon excited that you are a part of this. And I really, honestly, every time I go to convention, this was my fourth convention, I come back and I think, oh my God, like why isn't every person that I know joining this business because this company is absolutely amazing and you like literally want to be able to like shake everybody that you know and tell them that they should jump on board. And, you know, I was only there less than 48 hours this year, but honestly, I mean, it's just like you just soak in so much excitement and inspiration and just realize like honestly what a gift and how amazing this company really, really is. So hopefully you guys... The funny thing is, related to your point about, I can't, I don't understand why everyone doesn't do this. <laughs> I was in the bathroom at some point in, during convention and some young consultant uh, walked in and just looked at me and she's like, I cannot believe everyone doesn't join this <laughs> I was like, what's the problem? Like, this is so amazing. She was so excited. It was hilarious. And I was like, I know. I, I felt the same way from the very beginning, but especially every time I go to convention. Yeah, I mean, Heather and I, thankfully for Kelly, who had arrived the day before, she got us all checked into our hotel room and had keys and water and everything ready for us when we arrived. And we literally like walked into the first um, big general session, just in time to be seated way at the top. Um, I think we were like two or three rows from the top, but even being way up there because we got in just in the nick of time. Um, you just, I mean, they walk out on stage and they start talking and you literally just get chills and just really do realize that we are a part of something very, very, very special. And um, hopefully we can convey some of that to you guys tonight. Hopefully you already know that and feel that. Um, but we wanna go through some of the statistics that we learned um, while we were there, which is some really exciting information that we didn't have before. Um, and just, you know, want you guys to get excited and re-energized about the business. I do feel like in the last few months, um, a decent number of people I feel like have kind of lost their momentum and I really would love to get that back because there's just so many exciting great things and I think that if you don't kind of get on board and get back um, you know really believing in this business and believing what it can do for you that you're gonna miss out on some really great things so I'm gonna let Heather talk about um, some things that she got out of her level 5 training real quick yeah so um, I have the the luxury of going to a specific training for level five and you got to pick who which trainer you wanted and i picked katie wood and i don't know if any of you have ever seen any of her daily experiences daily experience trainings or have listened to her on the sarah robbins calls but um she is just so dang charming and cute and funny and fun and um so her room was packed 
But um, I and like everyone was laughing and crying. You know, there was just so many amazing takeaways. But um, the biggest ones are here, and none of them are, you know, earth shattering by any means. But I feel like the most important thing is just to decide. Decide you are going to succeed. And one of the things that really um, rang true with me is she said, you know, so many people think that they're not good at this business, but you have to reframe that and, you know, just believe that you're not good at it yet. And then decide that yet is so important, but then decide what you're going to do to get better. So if you're not confident yet, then what are you going to do to get confident? Confident is a, an acquired skill. You learn it, then you earn it. So what are you going to do to be a student of learning? What are you going to do to keep on learning? None of us are experts at this. Nobody, almost no one knew how to be a successful network marketer. But the successful people do what most people don't feel like doing. They're constantly learning. They're constantly talking to people. They're constantly reaching out. And that is obviously changing the course of their business and the course of their lives. So you have to start feeling uncomfortable. That means that you're learning. That means you're growing. You got to get outside of your comfort zone and do the things that you may not necessarily want to do. Because if you're doing them, that means you're going to succeed and maybe someone else isn't. <clears throat> so you have to decide. You have to decide to be great. Because I absolutely believe that something magical happens when you make up your mind to succeed. Um, I know that Kristen recently asked me this question and Stacy and Carrie both asked her, they said, what happened with Heather? Like what, what changed? And, and I, Kristen asked me, I was like, I don't know. I don't know what changed, but I do think, you know, I have, well, it'll take me too long to get it down, but um, I did a vision board. And I remember Kristen talking a bit about a vision board and so many leaders at Rodan Fields talking about vision boards. And I thought, oh my God, it's so stupid. But you know what? You, you put it out there in the world. You decide, you know, that Lexus is right in the middle. I want that my damn minivan out of the driveway. I want to give it to my sister who desperately needs another car. And I want that Lexus. I put that in the middle. I put a lot of things around it. My kids are right there beside it because they're my why. You just decide. Decide that you are going to be great. And I guarantee you something magical will happen. And this you are entirely up to you with something that Katie shared. And it's so absolutely true. Nothing else is going to change the course of your business and the course of your life except for you. You just have to decide. All right, Kristen, I'm handing it back over to you. I'm getting off of my soapbox. Oh, my God, but I actually have tears in my eyes. It doesn't make me teary. I just hear about it because, honestly, I mean, both Heather and Paula, at the beginning of August, they were like, I am hitting level five. I am going to get there. This is the month. I'm going to do it. And they made that decision. They put the stake in the ground, and they made it happen. And I truly believe for everybody that it is just deciding. And I loved how Heather said that about the not yet, because last year, I think I actually did a post when I went to my son's meet the teacher night for first grade. His teacher had all the kids had written on a post-it note, something that they weren't good at yet. And she had used those post-its to write out the word yet on the wall. And she said, throughout the year, we're going to take one down every time somebody has accomplished what they put on those. And so, I mean, in first grade, she was talking about that and, you know, that you're just not good at it yet. And this business is the same way. None of us went to college to become direct salespeople or to sell skincare. And so it is a new skill. It is something new that we have to learn. And we really can all do that. So I'm going to switch gears a little bit and start talking about some of the statistics that were shared. And if you can were... Can I jump in one second and just ask you guys a technical question here? So can you guys see any people? Because I don't see any people. And I'm just wondering if I'm just recording this presentation. <laughs> yeah, I have everybody off to the right. Okay. So I just wonder if I'm the one recording, though, is it not recording any people? Is the video just going to be of this presentation? Oh. Well, I don't know the answer to that. I don't either. I, I think it depends on what you're on because I'm on a phone and if I swipe to the right, I can see everybody. I just, my screen doesn't have enough space for all the activity. So I see the pre presentation 
And then if I swipe right, I see more, more faces and more activity. So I don't know the answer to that if you're on a computer, yeah, but on the phone. The, it's recording. I always like had that amazing heartfelt plea about the <laughs> and I don't think anybody saw me. <laughs> I saw you. I saw your face. It's in the bottom right. The person, it switches to whoever's talking between okay, you and I just don't know. I, I can't see any people for some reason. It's not letting me share my screen, share that presentation and see you guys at the same time. So I'm worried if I'm recording that, that it's the actual recording won't have any people. Well, but I think that, I think, I think it, I'm they sorry. can hear us, obviously, so I think that's okay. Yeah. I mean, right. it, it's better, I guess, to be able to see. I feel like it is some sort of setting, though, where you do choose to still have that off to the side, but I don't know where it is since I'm not doing the recording. Well, I know, and it normally works. It's just not working today. Yeah. Um, so, okay, anyway, all right, we'll get we'll okay. get. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into some of this data, which is super exciting for me that we have this. And so I mentioned to some of you that were on earlier, if you subscribed to Virtual Convention, this class was called Ut Utilizing Data to Develop Your Business. And it's a 43 minute um, recording. It, it will be the best 43 minutes you spend this week, other than this hour you're spending right now. I'm just kidding about that part, but it will honestly be Great, great, great data that you will really, really love because there's even a lot of information in here that is not available. And then some of these charts, if you wanted to use them in any way, are available in Pulse. And you, you should see it. I think it's right on the first page, at least it was for me. So I'm also going to look at my notes because I did write down some of the other statistics that I heard, um, you know, recorded. Um, so, you know, first this just says, act like you're the CEO of a billion dollar um, number one brand. And, you know, Diane Dietz is the CEO and she's amazing and I could not be happier that she is our CEO and she is really doing awesome things for this company. And her goal is to continue to launch two new products a year. But, you know, you need to have the confidence and the posture that you are the CEO. I do remember when I first started and Carrie would always talk about being a business owner and that seemed kind of funny to me in the very beginning because I guess I didn't necessarily feel like a CEO when I very first started but you really do have to have that that confidence and the posture that you are the CEO and really believe in, in this special special thing that we are a part of we're the number one brand in the US, um, you know, across all price points and channels, which is a remarkable thing. I know just from the pet food industry, like if we would have had a brand that was number one across all channels, I mean, we would have been like jumping, shouting that from the rooftops. It's really remarkable to be able to say that. Um, and the goal is to be the number one brand in the world. I mean, they really want to be the global leader. Um, Canada doubled its sales in year two, and they're already up 77% this year, which is remarkable. And Heather and Kelly learned this statistic in one of the classes that they took, which is that Australia met its three-month forecast in just the first two weeks of business. So I think that is also just an incredible, awesome number, and really just shows where we're going to go with this business in Australia. And they also, in that same class, um, got some good insight, which is that that, you know, Japan is quite possibly the next country. We all kept waiting for them to make that announcement. And last year at the convention, they talked about Japan and even had a whole video about Japan. This year, there really wasn't a lot of discussion. But in the global class that they were taking, um, when somebody asked, the teacher at the end said, all I can say is, why don't you go have some sushi and make some friends while you're at the restaurant or whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, I do think Japan is where we're targeted next. And they have been doing a lot of research because I do think the way um, Japanese women use skincare is a little bit different than other um, you know, women around the country or countries that we're currently in. So I think it takes a little bit more time and due dil diligence to make sure we launch correctly. So one thing they kept talking about during that class is that in the next five years, um, you know, they expect the skincare category to grow by $38 billion by 2021. So that's a pretty remarkable number and you definitely want to have a slice of that. And that's another reason that we're just so incredibly lucky to be a part of this business. Um, so moving on, to the next slide um, you know I think this has been a statistic at the last few conventions and whatever we've heard Euromonitor who's the um, 
the third party that does a lot of, um, you know, comes up with a lot of this data. They have really talked about how Rodan and Fields is really driving the market. So Rodan and Fields is responsible for 32% of total skincare gains, which is, again, absolutely remarkable. And, you know, just um, since I joined the company three and a half years, to just continue to see this company at the size that it is, I mean, we're a billion dollar brand. And to see us continue to have such staggering growth growth year after year after year is just remarkable. So this chart that's over on the right is actually compound um, annual growth over the last five years. So you can see where we are compared to our competitors is just incredible. And in 2016, we actually grew 84% again. So guys, that's really just remarkable. And to think that you're a piece of that, you're helping to drive that. And again, we're going to see these numbers just continue to grow over the next few years. And I think every one of us should be stepping up our game and doing more and more to make sure that we have a bigger slice of that pie. Well, so all, the, all these brands over on the right, other than us, are spending hundreds of millions of dollars on advertising, and they're still seeing that very low, um, those low numbers in terms of growth. They're stagnated. Um, and then here we are. We're the advertisers, and uh, we're growing by leaps and bounds. So it. You know, it's just, I love this underdog story. It's my favorite. Yeah. And I mean, you know, an, another thing that they talked about too on that video is just, um, you know, so those other brands have been around for decades and decades and decades, and we've been around only for 10 years. And to think that, you know, we're growing like we are is really just, um, you know, absolutely incredible. And so they did talk, um, you know, here it says we're number one, but we've just scratched the surface. And Wendy Watts talks about how we, we as consultants hear all the time, is the market saturated? And she's like, absolutely not. It's not saturated. I mean, it's nowhere even close to saturated when you really look at the statistics. So one thing that is remarkable um, is to see here brand awareness. And I know for Heather and I, and Paula and Jen, and I may be missing some other people that have backgrounds in brand management, you know, brand awareness is something that we would have talked about all the time. And I think when each, when each of those people joined my team, I think everybody was hoping to have information like this. And this information really just wasn't available. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. So um, in the last year, our brand awareness went up by, 30, by 6% up to 30%. And that's really pretty amazing. But that means that 70% of the women in the United States do not know about Rodan and Fields. They've never heard of Rodan and Fields. So if you say everybody I know is selling it or everybody I know is using it. I mean, it's just not the case. I mean, only 30% of, um, you know, female skin users are even aware of it. And this was not on this slide, but she talks about this in the presentation. So I'll give you these numbers. And again, you can watch it. For comparison to the brands that were on the previous slide, um, brand awareness for Neutrogena is 92%. Holy cow. Brand awareness for Clinique, 92%. Brand awareness for Estee Lauder, 87%. And brand awareness for Lancome, 85%. So guys, everybody knows those brands. If you are at 92% awareness, that means almost everybody that is purchasing the category has heard of you. And that's very difficult to grow your brand. When you're at 30% awareness, there is a whole lot of market out there for you to be able to capture. So it's really pretty remarkable. And another thing that she talked about is that they know they need to grow, that we need to grow brand awareness and trial. And so they're really focusing um, on trying to help us grow brand awareness. So I think that's one of the reasons that we're getting more and more assets that they're providing for us to be able to use and really cool, you know, videos and assets for us to be able to have. And trial is another reason that they're really starting some of these programs where you earn the free glow packs and that kind of thing where they prepackage those and put those together because they do know trial is going to be really the key for us to be getting new customers. So on this next slide, um, well, not next slide, but next chart over to the right-hand side, um, it says that there's over $16 billion of opportunity within existing U.S. categories. And one thing that they really focused on um, in the presentation, which to me could signal maybe some future new products, is they really focused on how body care is such a huge 
um, you know, category in terms of dollar sales, but we're a very teeny tiny participant. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see some expansion in that area in the future. But we are, um, you know, number one in anti-aging. And, you know, even when you look at that and we're the number one brand in anti-aging, we still only represent 12% of sales, just a little over 12% it looks like. And so again, you know, the sky is the limit. We've got about a 12% share just in that little slice, but that means there's, you know, plenty of people that are not buying Rodan and Fields. And they also talked about the moisturizer, which they said this was before active hydration was launched. And so I think they feel that our position has probably increased by the time that we do this study again next year because of the active hydration serum. Um, so not to inundate you with numbers because you certainly can go and watch this presentation, but they did also talk about how 35% of people have become aware of the brand via Facebook. So what you're doing on Facebook works. Keep doing it. Um, you know, they talked about not inundating people with messages, but you know, that is how many people are finding out about it. 8% find out through Instagram, 6% through Pinterest, 29% through a consultant, 23% by a recommendation from a friend, and 9% from a beauty blog. So getting referrals is also, um, you know, really a great way to get business. I actually got a new PC when we were out in Las Vegas that was referred to me by a current customer, and it's somebody that I don't know, and she placed a, um, an order for a Lash Boost bundle with me. So I haven't gotten a ton of referrals, but the ones that I have have become pretty great customers. So I would really encourage you to try to go that friend route and utilize that to help you to grow your business if you've got some happy PCs. You know, that could be asking them to host a party for you or you know offering some sort of incentive for referrals that kind of thing um okay so next slide here um you know again this is something that we've never seen before or had before in my three and a half years with the business and i think it's incredibly awesome to be able to have these kinds of statistics now so, you know, we do not spend any money on advertising. We are a very young brand, again, as we said a second ago, compared to the other competitors that we've mentioned. And when you look at these numbers, we're the dark blue bar on the top in every one of these categories. So these other brands, Oil of Olay, Neutrogena, Clinique, Aveeno, Lancome, they are spending hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars over the past 60, 70, 80 years, some of them, to get the brand equity that they have. We've only been around for 10 years and we don't spend any money on advertising. This all comes really from word of mouth and for what we're, from what we're doing to promote the business. And really, of course, from a lot of those editorials that we do get in the magazines or recommendations for our products through the beauty magazines. But in terms of uniqueness, we're at 67% um, you know, of female skincare users believe that we're unique compared to the average average of 57%. Innovation is 68% for Rodan and Fields. Effectiveness, 64%. And then I think this one is really remarkable too, developed by doctors and dermatologists. No surprise that we're at 82% versus 60. But I think that's actually really remarkable because a lot of times with a brand, um, you know, I talk to people who aren't aware that it's by the doctors who created Proactive or that they're two dermatologists. So I think to have a number that high is pretty amazing. Um, and I think something that we should all be really proud of. And I think, um, I think these numbers are really just outstanding. So I don't know if you have anything to add about that, Heather. So a couple other things before I turn it back to Heather that I'm, again, I got out of this video in case you didn't subscribe to virtual. That's the reason I'm providing some of these numbers to you guys. But these are, again, amazing statistics to have and really great to address objections. 64% of consultants never used the products before they became a consultant. That number is huge to me. People all the time say, I've got to use the products first. 64% have never used. 67% had no sales experience. You do not have to be a salesperson. I don't think any of us on this call right now are salespeople, but that's obviously a common objection we hear. And this one I love for all of those busy people out there. 70% of consultants work either another job full-time or part-time. 
And I believe they actually broke that statistic down was 56% of consultants have a full-time job and 14% have a part-time job. So guys, that's amazing. Um, there are some other great numbers. I'm not going to bore you with all those details, but really in that presentation, they go through what they call the four C's, um, the categories, the competitors, the consultants, and the consumers. So they provide statistics kind of in those four areas. The numbers we just covered really kind of address um, competitors and um, the category, but there are some statistics if you're able to watch related to the customers. Um, and to us, and another good statistic was that 70% of our revenue comes from PCs, and I think that number has actually grown a little bit too, and I think that's another great number. So again, work on building your PC base um, because that's really where the bulk of the sales for the company and the revenue is coming from. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over to Heather, who, as you all know, is such an awesome product expert, and I'm sure in five days already knows way more about these products than probably anybody else that attended convention, so I'm excited for you guys to be able to learn about these products from her. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, okay, so innovation is just absolutely amazing what this company is doing. So, you know, both Kristen and I have a background in product marketing. We both worked in innovation. I was at PepsiCo. She was at Purina. I worked on innovation on the Quaker Oats brand, and <laughs> I can tell you that we were trying so hard to launch new products at least once a year. Sometimes we were trying to do it twice a year, but you know, our new products were things like, oh, let's do a peanut butter chocolate chip granola bar instead of just chocolate chip. I mean, that was how innovative we were. Um, so the fact that these, this company is launching patent pending innovation twice a year is, I mean, it's, it's just unfathomable. I don't understand how they're doing it, but I'm glad they're doing it. And Kristen and I were talking about this yesterday that, you know, when we were launching new products at our respective Fortune 500 companies, we were hoping against hope that they would reach like the $35 million mark. And granted, you know, I probably had on my new, you know, I had like a $50 million ad budget and part of that would be for the new products. So I was spending millions upon millions of dollars on these launches. And, you know, we would scrape by, you know, the $30 million sales mark by the skin of our teeth. Here, Lash Boost is $200 million in year one. I mean, oh my God, we, <laughs> we would have been like swinging from the rasters at PepsiCo had that happened. Uh, Lash Boost is bigger than the biggest mascara brand. You know, it's just, it's just truly amazing what is coming out of this company and what it can mean for our business. I did an analysis and, um, wait, I think I have it. I didn't even think to put it in this presentation, but let me just read you a couple of things. I went through and looked at my new customers year to date for 2017, and I believe I have 40 new PCs, yes, and half came in on Lash Boost. So clearly, Lash Boost is driving our business. So half of all my new customers, and I think that the statistic they gave um, in convention, I think they said 40% of new customers this since Lash Boost were coming in on Lash Boost. So my number is even higher um, for Lash Boost. So, you know, you want to grow your customer base, customer base promote the new products, because clearly that's going to bring them in. Mm. Okay, I just wanted to see if I wanted to share any of the other stats, but um, it's not really relevant here. So active hydration serum, obviously not as big as Lash Boots, but still it's going to be huge. So they're projecting, so we just launched six months ago, they're projecting that um, active hydration serum will reach that $100 million mark in year one, which is just truly amazing. I am a personal... Um, I can't even think of the word I'm looking for, but I, I believe that active hydration serum is so the secret sauce that is making my skin look years younger. And so I am doing my damnedest to um, transfer that belief to everybody I know and get everybody to try. In fact, I'm raffling off one this month. I think um, Kelly's raffled off one this month. <clears throat> So um, push that. I hope we get some samples, some more samples of active hydration serum because I 
truly believe that if you get that product into people's hands, um, you'll get a bigger customer base. Um, I actually like and started to carry an extra one in my purse so I can um, share it with folks. So um, we've got three new products launching now. I'm sure everybody knows a lot about them. Um, we're gonna provide a little bit more education for you here. And then, you know, what they have committed to is they have said, our pipeline is very full. I can tell you from working at innovation, our pipeline was never full. We were always, always scrambling. So there's not a chance in hell I would commit and tell somebody that our pipeline was full because it wasn't. So the fact that they're saying that and that they've committed to two, at least two launches a year is truly phenomenal. Uh, and then, you know, here's the thing. You know, Allure Magazine said this. Um, when Rodana Fields comes out with a new product, it's not unusual for millions, literally millions of people to go nuts over it. So let's get those millions of people coming to our business. So start sharing in every way possible all these new products. Don't forget about Lash Bruce and Active Hydration Serum. So we are going to dive deep into all of these. You know, all this information is out there for you. So all I've done is kind of curate um, the information that's been given to us. And that was a um, word that Daniel Pink used. He was the keynote speaker. And he talked about selling and how the world of selling has changed. Um, selling used to be about the seller had all the information and the prospect had none. And so it was this imbalance. Um, now, we kind of all have the same, same information. You know, that information is out there. But we get to be the experts. We're the curators of that information to help people understand what's important, to digest it, and make it easy for them. Like, I truly believe that my job is to make it easy for my customers. I try to do, you know, anything and everything to make it easy on them. So that's what I'm doing for you, is I'm curating this information for you. <clears throat> so you'll see a lot of this, um, I've already posted. So I just made a post today about the retinol revolution is here. But, you know, some of the key messages I'm using is um, retin-A. That is a um, term, that's an ingredient that people know. Use that ingredient. This is the closest you can get to prescription retin-A. But the beautiful thing is, it's not irritating. So I can tell you from personal experience, that Retin-A has fried my face off many, many times. I've tried it, fried it off. Um, recently, well, I guess two years ago, when we lived in Chicago, I had my dermatologist there that I loved, told me, I'm gonna write you a prescription for retinol, AL, retinol with an AL, just like this. <clears throat> and it's gonna cure your rosacea. And the best thing about it is it's also gonna anti-age you. And I'm like, yeah, sign me up. Oh my God, that shit fried my face, like literally peeling. But you know, according to her, this was like some new formula that was okay for sensitive skin. And I don't understand how it would cure my rosacea, but it was somehow going to do that. So I think I used it three times and then stopped. <clears throat> well, I've been using these new little blue capsules, the new ones, and have had no irritation. So the fact that they're saying this is good even for sensitive skin, is truly groundbreaking. So that's what I'm highlighting. As close as you can get to prescription strength, Retin-A, and, and it even works on sensitive skin. So the way that they have formulated this, it is time released. It releases over time, so it's gentle enough um, for sensitive skin. Um, and then also the 20 times more potent than retinol, it's faster and smarter. And so the consultant price um, is 74, the PC is 89. So the amazing thing about this is this is, you know, a groundbreaking new formula. It's only a $7 price increase uh, from a PC standpoint versus not renewing theorem. So I think everybody's like, oh yeah, well, how much does it cost? Well, only $7 more than what you're already paying. So that's the beautiful thing. 
right, so I wanna, can I jump in real quick? I just wanted to say one thing because I know we've got a few Australians here and I shouldn't really be the one telling this story because Kelly and Heather are the ones that learned this information or specifically Kelly did because she was able um, to talk to Mel Seats and I think she's passed this information along to her team, but I don't know that Stormy and her team have heard it, which is that um, in 2018 in Australia, first you'll be getting unblemished, which is awesome. And I know you guys will be super excited about it. Secondly, you will be getting um, active hydration serum and then these new products after that. So this information is relevant to you guys. It's not relevant this week or next week when it goes on sale in the United States, but it will be coming to you. And, um, you know, so I think it's just something that is great for you guys to be able to take advantage of this learning right now too. And if Kelly or Heather, you have anything to add, please do. But I just wanted to make sure the Australians knew that. Yeah, no, I, hallelujah. Thank goodness. Yeah, we don't, we don't have timing yet. Um, it, you know, Kelly, you can jump in here, but it sounded like um, the way she was talking that unblemished was soon, yeah, 2018. And, and if you think about it, 2018 is not very far off. So let's just hope and pray that it is the beginning of 2018 when um, you get all of this. Kelly, you have any ads? Yeah, no, that's all. I was just gonna say that, um, she didn't yeah she didn't say exactly when she just said 2018 and to me it sounded like it was at the beginning of 2018 i was thinking jan feb but just by her excitement but that could be just me being excited i don't know but she did she say lash boost no but everything else and she yeah. said lash boost no for sure but everything else yeah mm -hmm. but also if if australians have any friends or customers um, in America, you can be selling that as well. So you can, you can sell to the United States, sell these products. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, I didn't mean to derail you, but I just knew we had a few people on. I wanted to make sure that was clear yeah, to everybody. Yeah, that's a good ad. Okay, so let's move on to the new roller. Well, I wish I had it down here. So, so for you folks that haven't seen it yet, you could kind of see it up close, but it's, it's um, well, it's not packed, I'm not bringing it with me, but it's upstairs. So um, the, this new roller is so much more premium-like than I, our current roller, than the current blue roller. I remember when my sister um, started this business and opened up that roller for the first time and she was like, it seems really chintzy. Like, you know, it kind of rattles around, it's plasticky. Um, this new roller, it's sleek, it's heavy. It seems very stable. Um, so first and foremost, to me, it just seems like a real premium, high quality product. Um, but the key benefits are improved comfort, control, and convenience. So there's new state-of-the-art, high precision tips, the little needles for improved comfort and a lighter touch. Um, there's a new design. Um, for greater control and better handling, um, plus a seal, a watertight seal for easier maintenance. I guess the, the other seal wasn't, and you could get water in there, which could be a little bit um, I'm not quite hygienic. The handle's more ergonomic for a smoother glide, and I think one of the key, key benefits is that cap. Uh, so when you traveled with the roller or even like bringing it in and out of your drawer, the old roller, it would like flop around in that case. My sister actually, my sister had problems with the roller. Um, I guess it like banged so much that the needle fell out and she would roll and she was like, there's not any needles in here. <laughs> um, but so this has a protective cap that goes right on it, clicks on. So, you know, there's no, there's no wiggling or wobbling. You can even stand it on its head on that cap, you know, to display it in, on your um, counter. And then um, the, the cleaning system, the case for the cleaning is actually a storage system as well. So that's an added layer of protection. So it locks into the base here. And um, so you can even turn that upside down when it doesn't. Um, wiggle at all. So another great thing from a pricing standpoint, so versus the AMP MD system, the 1.0, the 2.0 is only a $6 price increase. 
And so what I'm gonna tell people, you know, hopefully we'll get some new users into the AMPMD system that don't currently use it. For those people that are already have the roller, you know, you just remind them that you're supposed to be replacing this thing once a year. And so whenever you're ready for that upgrade, and you know, you can even go in, for those of you who've been with, in the, with the business for a while, you can go in and see their order history and see when they placed that first order. For some of my people, it'll be three years ago. So, you know, that's gonna be a good reminder. You know, it's time to upgrade. But I'm not gonna force that on anybody. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, you replace it every year. Let me know when it's time to upgrade. So um, anyway, and then what they'll have for the launch special um, while supplies last is the same, I'm actually packing that, um, it's a white cosmetic bag, which is actually quite nice. It snaps open, so it stays open. Um, so it's my new little favorite makeup bag from um, Rodina Fields, and it's pretty roomy. So that will be the um, free gift with purchase. Anything else on the AMPMD guys? No? Okay, so there's lots of different um, results you can talk about with the AMPMD. Um, you know, you can talk about it with the regimen. So these are the clinical studies with redefine and reverse. So you can talk about it that way. You can use before and after pictures. I haven't actually found any reverse before and after pictures with the AMPMD yet, but I'm sure they are, they're coming. But um, you'll see, you know, just, just as it was with the AMPMD 1.0, you know, we're talking about significant amplification of your anti-aging results using the roller and the serum with the regimen. The important thing to note Though this is a big change versus what it was before. So before, when you bought the Redefine Amp It Up Special, you got the serum, you got the Night Renewing Serum. But when you bought the Reverse Amp It Up Special, you did not. And the reason for that was you would be doubling up on retinol because Reverse already has retinol in it, and that retinol vitamin C step three. And so it did not come with the serum. Now, with the 2.0, Reverse also comes with a serum, and the reason for that is this new intensive renewing serum is so gentle. You know, it's effective yet gentle, so you're able to use them both. So you'll see from a price increase that the Redefine Amp It Up Special is only a $5 price increase versus what it is today. However, the reverse Amp It Up Special is a $70 price increase because you're adding in that serum. And the serum on its own is how much? Um, $89. So again, you get that bundle saving, um, but that is a $70 price increase. So also that free gift with purchase, the, the white cosmetic bag um, will be included with those while supplies last. Any questions on the AMPMD systems before I move on to the bright eyes? So I just wanted to add one thing real quick, which is that the serum can be used with any of the regimens. The serum can be used by Soothe users because it's okay for sensitive skin. It can be used with um, unblemish. So the serum can be used with any of the regimens. The roller is still only to be used with the reverse brightening and the redefine, which may be obvious here from the kits, but I just wanted to make sure that that was clear because that was a question that some of us had at convention. Yeah, and you're right. That's a good point to bring up. And what I haven't been able to find, do you remember in convention, they, um, they did, you know, as part of the presentation, they had shots of the clinical studies with all the different regimens. So they had uh, Soothe and Unblemished Shoe. I haven't been able to find those. Those aren't published. So um, this does make it look like you only use it with reverse and redefine. But um, yeah, the beautiful thing is that even people... Um, yeah, I have screenshots of those results on my phone, but I haven't seen them published either. But they do have clinical studies with unblemished, with Soothe, um, with reverse and redefine with everything. Yeah, I, I took screenshots too, but I must have deleted them trying to make them on okay. my phone. Can you, send, can you post those or send yeah, them? Yeah, sure. Because I would love to use the Soothe one. Okay. Because to me, I, that's like the key selling, one of the key selling points here is 
you know, people with sensitive skin have never been able to use retinol. Right. And yeah. Skin. So I have screenshots and I will post those. I was sitting kind of off to the side of the stage. So my angle on the pictures is a little funny, but you should be able to get the idea from them and be able to see them well enough. So I'll do that while we're talking. Okay, great. All right. So last new product is the Active Hydration Bright Eye Complex. And I am so freaking excited about this. I swear. Um, I have such a problem with dark circles and puffiness. It's definitely a family a genetic thing because my sister, she messaged me during convention and she's like, can you get me some, please? And then my mom was like, oh, I need that too. But so this is about waking up those tired eyes and turning on the bright. You'll see here, there's a lot of creative before and after pictures going on. You know, people doing it on one eye that you see here on the far right. I've seen a lot of um, posts today with various different people just doing it on one eye. But um, I tried to do that today and I just, I, I just couldn't wait to like put my makeup on. But um, anyway, I would encourage you as you start using this, to you know, figure out creative ways to do your own before and after because obviously those are the ones that always get the biggest response and you know create the biggest belief in the product results is when it's your own. So this product leverages the same technology as Active Hydration Serum. So it's delivering that continuous hydration to that your delicate under eye skin. And it's interesting, like. I have always, since I've started using Active Hydration Serum, you know, this guy, I, the first place I put it is right, you know, right here, because I feel like that's where I need it the most. So, you know, clearly I was ahead of the game here. But um, So then they also have phytonutrients, caffeine, and eliminating brighteners that help with those dark circles and puffiness. And we're gonna talk a little bit on the next slide, I believe, about the differences between multifunction eye cream and um, bright eye complex, because I think that's gonna be, you know, the first question you're gonna get. But the great news is, is they they work together for people that need all of the benefits, which is me. So the price here is sixty-three dollars for preferred customers. For you know, you know already that the multifunction eye cream is fifty-five dollars. So this is a little bit more than that. And I heard somewhere, um, somebody's, you know, an RFXers Facebook post somewhere, that there are two launch offers planned. We don't know what they are. I, I would imagine it would be some sort of a bundle offer for one. Um, so we, you know, should get detailed on that soon. So these. Bright Eye will launch to customers on November 2nd. You, as consultants, can buy it as of October 18th, so as of Wednesday. Okay, so um, this page is uh, in uh, BizDev Library. So you have access, well, you have access to all this stuff. But, um, so the key difference is here. So our eye cream is really about aging you know what you what you think of when you think of aging the lines the wrinkles the loss of firmness and we talked about um eye cream you know also helping with dark circles and puffiness or at least i always did but quite honestly i didn't feel like it did enough so i'm so glad they came out with this uh so anyway multifunction eye cream lines wrinkles firmness and how it does that is really those those peptides and you know from a product formulation standpoint so the eye cream is a you know it's like a rich moisturizer so that's you know how that one feels whereas bright eye complex is a lightweight almost like a gel like they call it a gel cream and you know it comes in that um, teeny tiny little applicator thing so you just use a little bit of that so versus one is more of a lotion the other is like a serum almost and because bright eye complex is, is lightweight you can layer it so if you're going to use both you would put bright eye complex on on first and then multifunction eye cream on top of it so we already talked about the bright eye complex, but that one's for circle, dark circles and puffiness. And I also said under eye dullness. Uh, 
I think that's it. Any ads from you girls? And a lot of people are doing, sorry, I ask if you have any ads and then I keep talking. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I didn't have anything to say. I think you've got it all covered. Well, yeah, and so what, what I was going to jump in with was on the before and afters. So, you know, some people are just doing one eye so you can see the differences. Some people are doing, um, you know, like a 30-minute window, like the one that you saw uh, that I had on the slide there. And then, um, like, Jeanette Kimball on our team did one that was, like – four days later so you could kind of see the improvement over time they didn't really talk about like is this an immediate fix is this does it get better over time because they do talk about the time factor with active hydration serum you know this guy they talk about that your hydration levels and therefore your skin gets better the more you use it. They didn't really say that, you know, they didn't really give us that kind of information with the um, eye complex, but I would imagine that it would get better over time. So just see how it works for you and, you know, make sure you take a, you know, lots of before pictures and then figure out the best way to tell the story about, you know, how wonderful your eyes are looking over whatever time period you think is best. Okay, I think I'm doing this one too. So the new Spark program is so freaking fabulous that when Kristen and I joined, there was really nothing like any of this. There were no cash bonuses. Um, Kristen, Kristen did earn what would have been the Fast Start program if it was around. She got a, an iPad. But, um, but now I think they've made the Fast Start program even better. So this replaces Fast Start as of October 1st. So this is an incentive program for all new consultants. So if you've just joined us and you're on this call, congratulations, you get to participate in this. If you're not brand new, don't fear. You get to leverage this with every prospect that you're talking to because this is so fabulous for them because we always talked about you have the opportunity to earn your business kit investment back which you still do. But in my mind, getting that cash is easier. So here's how it works. And you get more stuff than beyond just cash. So um, if you join us as a, you know, starting October 1st, you're, uh, and you achieve EC your first month, which means you have $600 in sales volume, whether that is from the business kit you bought, or product that you bought. Um, so typically it would be the business kit that you would buy either the $6.95 or the $9.95. You would automatically qualify. Um, well, you would qualify for the program. And then if you hit that $600 in PSQV, I'm confusing myself, aren't I? Um, then you hit the Spark One achievement. So you would get 10 Give It A Glow Packs, and then your sponsor would get 10 Give It A Glow Packs. Isn't that great? because they helped you easy in your first month. Then um, in your second month, if you hit level one or higher, so if you um, bring on one consultant and they EC, that equals level one, then um, you get 10 give it a glow packs again, but the best part is you get $400. So, um, and then your, your sponsor gets 10 Go Better Glow, and then for the balance of this year, they also get some cash. They get $200, but that only is through the end of 2017, the sponsor's dollars. And then if by the end of your month three, you hit level two or higher, which means that you have brought in two consultants and they EC, you get the 10 Glow It A Glow Packs again. So you'd have 30 Give It A Glow Packs and you get $600, which means you get $1,000. So even if you just bought that $6.95 kit, you're getting $1,000. So you have the chance to earn back even more than your business kit. And, um, and, you know, before it was like all or nothing. Fast Start was all or nothing, right? You hit level two, you got the money. But if you didn't hit level two, you got no money. Here you get money, even if you just hit level one, and you get goodies, even if you just EC. So that's fabulous. 
And then there's also a corporate level up training, which I believe is it six weeks or 12 weeks. I forget. Um, but it's a great training course with accountability partners and lots of challenges. And then that spark three, your sponsor also gets $300 and more glow packs. So one thing that I want to clarify here that is different from the way the programs have worked before, and it will become more clear when Heather shows the next slide, but the difference this time is the month that you enroll is month zero. It's your enrollment month. So you've actually kind of added an extra month in too to be able to hit these goals because in the past with the previous Fast Start program, the month you joined was month one. So if you joined on you know, September 15th or September 30th, that's still all counted as month one. So the month that you join is your enrollment month and then month one, the way I understand it, is, is the next month, which I think is a little bit different than the way they've done it in the past. Oh, really? I guess I missed that. But yeah. Yeah, so I, yeah, I don't know. I, I did not realize that, that it was zero, one, two, three, but maybe you're Which right. I think is kind of confusing because they sort of changed around the way they, way, the way, since I've been a part of the company, the, the numbering of the months kind of fluctuates and changes, which I think does add a little bit of confusion. But if you're new, it doesn't really matter because you just know what you know. And, and by the way, for those of you in Australia that joined last month or anyone that joined last month, you're still eligible for the previous Fast Start program. Yes. So you still can earn the kit reimbursement and you're still eligible for that. This program starts for anybody that joined October 1st or after. So. And then for Australia, you'll see here that the cash bonuses obviously are adjusted for currency. So, you know, that $1,000 in the U.S. is $1,260 in Australia. So that, I, I believe, matches your business biggest business kit. So there's lots more information here, and it is kind of confusion. You can see that there's a lot of different scenarios, um, and these aren't even all the scenarios that might exist. But I encourage you to dig a little bit deeper here. You know, if you do have new consultants, um, you know, who, who are going to be, you know, working toward this, there's a whole frequently asked questions document that you can dive into that will hopefully clarify this enrollment month versus month one, month two, month three. Um, Cause even I was not aware of that, but, um, but I think the message is whoops. Um, you know, you EC boom, you get, you, you know, you earn an incentive. You bring in one business partner, you got $400 and more goodies. You bring in two business partners, you, you get $1,000 total. So um, lots, of, um, lots of reasons to join, many, many reasons to join, and then lots of reasons to get off to a fast start. But, you know, whereas the actual fast start program, I think to some people just seemed a little unattainable. Like, oh my God, I don't know if I can bring in two people by my third month and get them going. Well, can you bring in one person? Can you, you know, can you EC your first month, which most people do? You know, it seems like, you know, it's your, you're biting off smaller pieces and that will help you help you get there. And I mentioned before some of those statistics that I think will be great for handling objections just in terms of, you know, who's used before and if you were in sales before. But I think this is another great thing to handle with objections because I don't think it's that hard to get to level one by the end of month two. And, you know, if you joined on the 695 kit here in the United States, you can get that $400 cash bonus. That means you really need to think about that you've only invested, you know, $295, even if you don't get to level two and get that cash bonus. And I think a lot of times when people join, because they're kind of nervous and unsure about what they're, you know, if they're going to join or not, they're talking to friends. And many people do already know somebody that wants to join, um, you know, or that is ready to join or interested in the business. So I think this gives them the ability really to be able to, to get to that. I do feel like that level one should be pretty achievable for a lot of people. And I, and I feel like a lot of people that join do get a pretty quick business partner. So, um, 
um, I think like Heather is 100% right that this really feels much more attainable. And I think as the sponsor, you've got that incentive, at least in the next few months, to really help your new people even more so because you have the ability to get that cash bonus too, which I think is really incredibly awesome. Um, and my guess would be is if the program is successful, a lot of times then they do continue. I mean, they didn't say that. And of course, here they say it ends in December, but I'm hoping that if it's successful, maybe they will continue that for a few months into the new year. So, um, you know. that, start, that started out as like a trial thing and then yeah, right. so they extended it. Yeah. So yeah, maybe yeah. they will. Yeah. All right. Well, let's finish up. So Kristen, I'm going to hand it back over to you to just close this yeah. up. Okay, so guys, the exciting announcement that we had at the end of convention was that next year we are moving to New Orleans, which I think is really awesome for those of us that attended the last couple of years. I think it's exciting to go someplace new. New Orleans is obviously a super fun city that I think most people, if they haven't visited, would love to go to. We don't have exact dates. We know it's in the month of September next year, but they have not provided the exact weekend. And again, I said this at the beginning, but honestly, I cannot even begin to tell you how much you will get out of convention and I've seen posts from other people that are a part of team up that said you know I was I was kind of going I knew it'd be fun I thought it'd be great to be in Vegas but I really didn't understand what I would get out of it and I cannot emphasize that enough for one you're gonna meet people on team up that you didn't know before you'll get to meet Stacy Carrie and Rose you get to meet Heather and I in person if we haven't met you guys before. Not that that's anything special, but I mean, it is just nice to make that personal connection. I think it, it's really why you should go. But I think it really does kind of change things just to have that personal connection and just to, you know, go out with everybody and have fun. I think you, you make... Um, friends with people that aren't even on your team. I mean, Kelly was there a day before we got there and I think she had lunch and dinner and got a pedicure with people that she just met while she was there that aren't even a part of our team. So you make so many friendships that truly are um, just so important for this business. And honestly, um, I just, I cannot emphasize enough. I know virtual convention is great. I know it's a great option. I know it's a much less expensive option for many people, but being there in person is really, um, really going to change your business. Kristen Ramirez, who's an RFX leader on Team Up, went to her first convention when Heather and I attended for the first time. She went as an EC and she saw those women walk the stage as an RFX leader and she was like, I am going back soon as an RFX leader. And she made that her goal and she hit it two years later. She went from an EC to an RFX leader in two years. And so it, it's hard to explain what you get out of it by being there. But I think another thing that I really gain every time that I'm there is you get trained by the RFX leaders. And one thing that always comes across to me is, you know, for some people, it might make you think, well, I could never get there. I can never do what they do. But when you hear them talk, when you hear them tell your stories, their stories are just like your story. They're just like my story. They started out as an EC, just like we did. Some of them didn't get off to a fast start. Some of them didn't believe in the beginning, but something changed and they did. And you realize when you hear them train you that it can be any one of us that gets to that level, to that tippy top level. And I think it actually makes um, those things feel more attainable when you meet those people in person because, you know, you are kind of star starstruck to some extent by some of those leaders that you've watched the training, you've listened to them on the Sunday night Sarah Robbins training. And I just think to be there and to soak it all in and to get that in person um, there's really nothing that can kind of replace that. So if it were me and, you know, you're worried about spending the money to get there, I'd say it costs around a thousand to probably $1,200 to go depending on your flight cost. So save a hundred dollars out of your paycheck, put that aside for the next 12 months, make a decision today that you're going to go because honestly, your business will change because you attend convention. I really do promise you that. So I asked Kelly, since she is new to the business and attended for the first time, if she would just kind of tell you guys her experience just from going, um, you know, kind of what she got out of it. So I'll let Kelly share a little bit too real quick. Yeah, I um, I mean, I, I already knew that Rodan and Fields was a great company, but I didn't feel it until I went to convention. I went, you know, we went there and just, I mean, it is an amazing company. Um, seeing how they take care of 
all of the consultants, no matter what level you're on. Um, everybody was so warm, so friendly, so enthusiastic, and it, it just caught on. I mean, everybody was just hyper and crazy, and um, it was just such a neat, a neat time to, to bond with everybody. And you know, I, it was great to meet Heather. I mean, I already had met Heather once, but to meet Kristen and Room, and I hope I didn't snore, but um, <laughs> then they were going, they would go off to level five events. And so the level, the under fives decided to all get together. So it was all the team up people who are under the level five. And we all bonded and decided that we were going to do some power hours together. And, um, you know, it's just, you know, people that you see on Facebook all the time or see, you know, we comment on each other's things and um, it just puts a whole other element to it now. So I just, I really got a lot out of it. And also the, um, all the classes we went to, um, one I had to do from my room because I was hung over, but I still got a lot out of it because <laughs> I, um, yeah, it was, it was good. And I did meet, I, one time I got a pedicure and one time I had lunch with a total stranger that I just was in line talking with. And we just sat down and just started going, hearing each other's stories. And it was, it was like that the entire time. And I'm still sleeping, trying to get caught up <laughs> because it was, nonstop. it was, it was wonderful. Yeah. It, you really are just like on this kind of, you know, energy high being there because yeah. it's just so exciting. And it's, um, it's just pretty amazing. I was not there for the gala. I came home early on Saturday because my two older boys had homecoming that night. But, um, you know, I've seen a few of the recordings of James Corden. And I remember Andy Cohen, who was the um, gala host last year, saying the same kind of thing. And I really do believe that they felt that like, you know, they felt the excitement and the energy and how much everybody loves and adores the company. And I know James Corden talked about it. I remember Andy Cohen saying that last year. So for those celebrities to really even, you know, kind of get that feeling, I think is pretty amazing. I saw somebody was starting a petition. Um, and it actually, it's Victoria Albrecht, who we kind of roll up through. And she's a close um, high school friend of Kathy Fields. And she started like a little petition to send to Kathy to request James Corden as the, um, the host again next year. So I don't know if he would do it again, but I would love to have him again because he was just so hilarious. So, um, do you know if we can get that video? I've been looking for it. You know, I actually saw Amy, um, Falkenstein, if you're friends with her on Facebook, she posted a little snippet tonight with Dr. Tim Fala, which I think is really a funny one. And mm -hmm. I've seen other people post him, but I don't believe that is available in the virtual convention. I don't Know why so I've just kind of seen snippets here and there that people posted some of them you couldn't hear very well her video tonight is pretty funny it's where um, dr. Tim is putting um, the new intensive renewing serum on his face and I don't know I think dr. Tim is also hilarious and to me mm -hmm. for a research person to also have such an awesome personality again just to me like it speaks to how amazing the executives are at this company but He's just awesome, I think, to, to receive training from. And the two of them were really funny together up on stage. So anyway, I know we've gone over the hour mark. Heather's got to get um, some rest to meet Mickey and Minnie in the morning. And so we need, we need to, to get going. But I don't know if you have anything to wrap up with, Heather. Well, I would just say, you know, I get back to that. Decide. Decide you are going to be great. Decide you will succeed. And decide what level you're going to be by convention, declare it, own it, do your vision board, tell people, uh, and then commit, commit to that daily activity, that weekly activity, whatever it is, um, to get you there. And it's, you know, I always say this, it's not rocket science, but it is that consistent activity. So posting, reaching out, events, following up, training, personal development, like watch those daily experiences. Um, videos every day. If you're not part of that Facebook group, um, get get on there. Uh, it's funny, like at, at the James Corden show, Amy Falkenstein, we were we were sitting beside her, and she was like, "Oh, I just saw you know so and so. Did you did you watch her daily experiences? She's so great." And I was like, "No." <laughs> she said, "Oh, I watch it every single day." 
And I'm like, okay, I need to commit to that because yeah. you will learn and you will be inspired. And they're just quick little snippets. It's not a 45 minute training. It's, you know, a 10 to 15 minute training every day from a different RFXer. And that's where I grew. That's where I started to uh, want to be BFFs with Katie Wood, who I did that level five training with. And then, you know, lastly, just never give up. Be that girl who wakes up with purpose and intent. Be the girl who shows up and never gives up. And be the girl who believes that anything is possible and willing to work for it. All right, that's all I have. Thank you, girl. Have a good time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Recruit, 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 recruit. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, thank Bye. you. Bye. Where am I? Oh, I have to stop sharing. Sorry, <laughs> still talking. <laughs>